At the largest lost property office in the world, in London's Baker Street, about a thousand people call every day to claim something they've left on a London transport vehicle. Yet two-thirds of the property found is never claimed. The oddest kind of junk and sometimes the most valuable of possessions. Some things, of course, are easily, and sometimes best, forgotten like one's first attempt at painting or a photograph of one's in-laws. Half a million articles a year, things we could do with and others we wouldn't know what to do with. The staff would like this claim, for instance, of only to satisfy their curiosity. Every month they have a big clear out and an amazing number of the articles are sold by auction. While somewhere, no doubt, a family is wondering just where they put the teapot. Somewhere too, there's an empty space in a child's bed. Surely, teddy bears don't just walk away. Trains and buses, though, can be useful places to dump things, particularly if you've seen a policeman get on too. But it takes a lot of nerve to go and claim some little items. You could start a sports club with the equipment left unclaimed, but even that would be more sportsmanlike than to read some of the very private letters people leave behind en route. It makes you think. Did the owner of this racing form lose his shirt too? Not that the staff would be surprised if the shirt did turn up at Baker Street or that. Plenty do. By the number of hangovers collected too, you think that going on a train ride was the same thing to many people as going on the wagon. Though it's all very frustrating to the staff. Aye aye, isn't that our cameraman's tripod? Thank you.